Hello. In this video, we are going to work through the count high example, which is um, everything coding about in the Python section. So what I have to essentially do here is I have to trace through the string and I have to count the number of times that high appears. So this is a place where we can kind of deploy our classic algorithm, um, which keeps in mind for what's called a reading frame. So let's just, again, if we were approaching this problem, we didn't know where to start. We would start off by tracing a couple concrete examples and try and generalize it. So I'm going to take the first example that we have up here. So ABC high hope, and it should return one. So I'm just going to take a second. I'm going to say STR is equal to ABC space high space ho. And I'm just going to write the indexes on here. And in fact, I'm not going to do it because it can get a little confusing. Oh, ah, silly me. That's better. ABC space high space ho. So we see here that we have a length of nine and indexes from zero, zero to eight. So again, I'm going to take a look. I want to pull out my reading frame. Size is equal to two. So let's look at our first case. So our first case is going to be if I want str at zero colon two, and that's going to become, that's going to pull out the AB. And my last case can be str at, and I'm going to come up here and I want these two right here. So it's going to be seven colon nine. And that's going to pull out the HO. There we go. And so this now, if I could, I could set up this problem pretty quickly. So I'm going to set up a variable called count and I'm going to set it equal to zero. And I'm going to say four I in range zero. And so let's just do it for this one case. This one case, I need to actually get my counter to seven. So I'm going to set it to be less than eight and my increment is one. And then I'm going to say if str at i, i plus two, which is going to pull out two letters, is equivalent to high. We're going to say count equals count plus one. And then once I'm done this, I'm simply going to return count. Now, hopefully you've identified that there's a bit of a problem here in that I'm dealing with one specific case, which is a length of nine, but it actually is going to develop some problems here with some other situations. So notice it passes whenever the length is less than, less than nine, but it fails if we get lengths larger than nine. And that is because we're not actually evaluating the entire string. Now, one point I really want to highlight here, the thing with Python that's a little bit, we need to be aware of when we're learning about Python is that Python is kind of trying to help you out. So if I set this to say a thousand and I hit go, see how everything works. It's because if I set this, if I set this number to be something larger than the length of any string, Python's smart enough to know that if I'm using this two parameter substring kind of notation, to kind of go on, just, just kind of, if it pulls out nothing, that's okay. That said, most other languages, including Java, would, this would result in an index out of bounds error. So we actually want to correct this. So let's come back up here and let's talk about how could I get this so that, that it stops when it gets to the hoe, it doesn't go any further. So we know that in this concrete case, we need to go to eight. And in terms of this, this is simply nine minus one. And we can see that this is the length of the string minus one. And if I give this a run now, it works. And this comes back to our classic bread and butter algorithm, that starting algorithm that we can always begin with as a starting place. And that is four I in range zero comma len of str minus whatever the reading frame size minus one. So in this case, we're interested in finding the word high. Let's just take this and copy this here. We're interested in finding the word high. So the word high has a length of two, two minus one is one. And so I end up with just doing some cutting and pasting here, minus one. So this is always going to work, this kind of reading frame idea. If you're just simply trying to progress through a string and pull out 
sections of the string. This kind of approach is always going to work. But again, we want to stress this idea that if you get a situation you have to kind of figure it out, always start with your extreme cases. The first two you want and the last two you want, or the first case and the last case. So I hope this video helped, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day.